Finally, I can take a breath. This is the test for me to see if I can't be completely free of OCD. No matter what it seems. My dad got me a camcorder at, at a certain point when I was maybe 10 years old. I started making a bunch of videos that I would write and, you know, plan out and make them with my friends, or if I didn't have any friends to film with, I would use my action figures, they were the characters, you know. Particularly, when I was young, I saw The Shawshank Redemption, and that's kind of a serious drama, and then I saw The Green Mile, another serious drama, and they're both by the same director, and they're both, they have the same composer, and the same, you know, similar cast, and actors, and everything, so when I knew I loved The Shawshank Redemption, I was, I was kind of young, and a lot of my friends hadn't really seen it, and they weren't too into it, because it's kind of like a, I mean, for a kid, it could be a boring movie if you're not really into films and understandably so. Uh, but when I saw it, I loved it, and I loved that it could create a story and that it could, uh, it could pull me in and keep me there and make me feel as if what I'm watching is the only universe that exists right now. It's crazy how something can create something like that or how something can, uh, can induce a reaction like that out of somebody that's just on the screen. And I don't know, it just felt like a cut kind of magic, you know, to me. So once I got that, it was like I got bit by the, the film bug or whatever, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I wanted to get, I was more interested in the behind the scenes from that. You know, to, to an extent, you're following a bunch of rules. Uh, you know, you learn how to make films and you learn the do's and the don'ts of filmmaking. You know, there's a basic note that you can have in your craft memorized. So if you're on a film set and you have a problem, oh, let's see, what, what should I do here? Oh, this light won't work. You know, you're learning how to how to control things. At, at, well, I was learning how to, you know, produce a film. but where it comes in where you get to make your own decisions is when you get to a point where it's like, oh, there isn't really an answer to this. It's kind of up to me. There's not, I haven't learned something in a class that tells me what to do with the situation. Not only that, it, it must be a creative uh, choice. And then I start to realize I can just kind of choose whatever I want. And that's where the, and where the attraction to filmmaking comes in is that you get to choose a lot. And, and sometimes you don't get to, sometimes it's more controlled, you know, depending on if you're working for someone and they want you to make it a certain way. That's fine. That's part of the job too. But what's really fun is when you when you have the creative control. And so creating a movie myself and writing it and directing it uh, that gave me the abilities to do everything how I wanted to to a certain extent, you know, as, as well as I could. Yeah, you you go through experiences through you know, a few short films, what works and what doesn't, what you can do in the future, what you might be able to change for a better result in the future. So a lot of it was just experience and uh, you know, creative. I had taken some directing classes before when I was a junior and a sophomore. I took directing one, sophomore year, directing two, junior year, and I got to direct like a five minute short. Um, and I had a lot of fun doing that. And it was a lot of fun to not be in front of the camera, to not have to worry about that part of it. Because in those shorts, I wasn't even in them. I was only the director. Uh, and I, I, I got the hang of directing and, and to the point where I wasn't intimidated by it anymore. So when I first came to the school, I was only really specialized in acting. And that was what I was special. That was what I was emphasizing in high school. Also, that my area of study was acting. But I had strong interest in directing uh, as well because one, I think it's it's fun and it's really cool to be able to be in control of that creative aspect of the film. Uh, but also because knowing about directing as an actor can help me uh, when I am an actor, whether in future, like if I get a role in something, even if I'm not the director, just having that experience as a director will help me uh, push my acting abilities and help me understand what directing. What's hard is I didn't start off. I, I'm not saying I'm great or anything, but I, I definitely started off not very, very good at making films. Like I, I, I go back and look at my early years from when I first started in college, and, and I look at my ending stuff. You know, this thesis and everything. I can see how how I've grown. And there were points in the beginning where I was making things, and I, I you know, was hating what was what was how it was turning out, and I was kind of you know down on myself, thinking I'm not too good at this. But at a certain point, you really do realize practice makes great results. Just by doing it over and over, it, I, I started to see the progress and I realized it would be stupid for me to stop because I am making progress. I'm getting better. Even even if I don't feel like I'm trying, it happens just uh, automatically just by doing it more.